Belle, Curly, and Larry here. That's right. They are looking for their forever family. And here from Ruby's Rescue and Retreat to introduce us is volunteer Lisa Wilson. Yes, as well as her sister Sue. So welcome, ladies. It's been a long time, I feel like, since yeah. we visited with you. It's been wow. a couple months. We get past the bad weather. Yes. Construction on the way over. Okay, well, tell us about what's been happening at Ruby's Rescue and Retreat. Uh, we've had some awesome events at uh, in December. We had two events and great turnouts. We've got puppies in and out. We've got puppies now. <laughs> we've got 10 German Shepherd puppies. So. Oh, my word. 10 German Shepherd puppies. 10 German Shepherd puppies. Wow. Well, and look at these And we've two got these two. <laughs> oh, so tell us. Curly they are Mo. being sweet. Curly. No, Curly. Larry, Curly. What happened to Mo? Mo got adopted. Well, good for Mo. <laughs> yep. Two, two days ago, Mo got adopted. All right. Oh, and we're so happy to hear that. So tell us about Curly and Larry. They are four-month-old purebred Great Pyrenees puppies. Four months. Puppies. And they're puppies. pretty big. <laughs> yeah, so we're looking at 150, 170 pounds full grown. Um, they're great. They're great puppies, so. They are so sweet. Mm -hmm. Sue, what, who would make a good home for Larry and Curly here? <laughs> <laughs> there goes Heather. Oh, hi. Hey, buddy. Come on. Hi. Come on. Thank you. These okay. dogs like to be outside a lot. Um, they don't mind the cold weather, but they love to come in and be with their people. Um, very loving dogs, and they like to have a job. And a lot of times people will have them for their, for herding. And um, they're just great, big, lovable dogs. They can be strong-willed, so keep that in mind. A um, lot of training in the beginning, and I think it will, it will go a long ways. Well, wow. they're super soft and fluffy. I mean, I you guys can't feel them like we can, but they are just like big like teddy cotton, bears. Like cotton balls. They are. Yeah. Cotton balls, <laughs> oh yes. My yeah. Okay, let's take a look here at some of the other dogs that are also okay. looking for homes. I don't believe we have the German Shepherds here, but ooh, let's make up a name. <laughs> That's what we usually do here. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking this guy is actually Diesel. Diesel, uh, that yes. Works. I can he, see that. He is a cane corso, and we think he's a little older. Uh, he w came from uh, a shelter, and he was pretty much literally starving to death, but and had embedded collar. But now he's thriving, and he loves everyone. And we think he's probably about six or seven, eight years old. Okay, and there were some little dogs too. I saw some photos. Yes, of. we Adorable. have these little rat terrier mixes. These little girls. There's one of them. There's two of them, and. Uh, didn't come from a great situation Aww. in a basement with um, in a kennel that they never got out of and no heat. Aww. So they got rescued and they're there uh, and just they're waiting, getting fixed today or be uh, adoptable after tomorrow. Okay. And so all the animals that come from you guys have been fixed. They have their shots yes. and yes. And normally the adoption fee is is three hundred dollars and that is. Spayed, neutered, microchipped, uh, rabies, all shots, everything. All set and Dental, ready to go. That's if awesome. they're older oh, dogs. Thanks. So, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. It is, and it I is. think what's the best deal is that you all work so hard to make sure that the right dog or cat or whatever you have goes to the right family. Yeah, and that's what's hard about these dogs is because they are, they do like to be outside. They don't like to be separated from their people. Um, so if not you think old, if you think you're gonna it's hard. crate them for nine, ten hours a day, that's not gonna work for these yeah. guys. They, they are need going to stretch to get their out. legs. They've yeah. got, there's a lot of energy inside these dogs. <laughs> it's a lot of dog. <laughs> a lot of dog. Well they are adorable. They well, are. If people want to learn more about adopting Larry or Curly here or any of the other dogs that we showed, don't mind Jacob Dickey over there trying to rile them up behind the scenes. <laughs> um, but what's the best way for them to learn more? Uh, go to Ruby's Rescue and Retreat. It's a Facebook page. There it is. Um, and just ask to be a member. I mean, you can. You don't have to be a member, but to be a member, you have to comment. But um, go out and look, and all the uh, available dogs are out there, and a link to the application. 
And um, oh my word! Trying to yeah, trying to get these dogs into Ryan, homes. I think you may have found a new buddy. I kind of want to bring one or maybe both I home. Know. They are. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check with my wife first. Yeah. Yeah. You need to get some goats or sheep. Oh and then my gosh! And then we have go. it made. So yes. Yes. well, that's awesome. Well, to learn more about adopting Curly and Larry and bring them home to their forever <laughs> home, maybe your home, head over to CILiving.tv.